Yo, what up world? Welcome back to another FL Studio update video. We're at 20.7 now, and there's a bunch of new things to take a look at. Um, you know how FL Studio updates are. There's like the main stuff, the minor tweaks, and like the background things. Uh, we're mainly gonna look at the main stuff, the main features of the update. And first off here, we have this whole extension to the visualizer in the top right hand corner. We have an option now called wizard. We can click that and it brings you to this whole new window where we can create like a mini music video kind of thing. And for the sake of brevity, I won't go through every single option here, but as you can see, there's a ton of uh, different videos, backgrounds you can choose from. Like we have like this 80s retro thing here. And uh, there's like, I don't know, like cyber tech stuff. And you have like more of like your trippy things. And, oh, that's really nice, the spinning vinyl. I like that. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different stuff. And um, I guess depending on the genre of music you're making, the style of music you're making, you can find something to uh, fit that style. So I kind of like this one here. Uh, so moving down to the sections, it gives you three layers of text. You can type in whatever you want in them. I'll just type in night talk. And um, these little blue and white uh, gears or widgets right here, we can click them and they give you some more options. Um, you can change the size and we can move it around and stuff like that. Um, so what else? Background, we talked about that. Process, so we can also add effects to the background. So like we can add a blur and then Ad additional options will come up depending on what effect you choose. So you can choose the amount if you just want a very little bit of blur or a lot. Um, what else? There's saturation, so you can mess with that. You can mess with the hue, you know, get some crazy colors going. Uh, what else? What else? Raindrops, you can add rain. So, you know, a lot of cool stuff going on. The foreground is, um, so this right here, this like stopwatch thing, you can change that to the waveform, change it to a waveform, either a vertical one or like a circular one. You can change it to a meter and you can also move that left and right or up and down. You can change the color. So yeah, I mean, a lot of this stuff is already from the visualizer. This is just kind of like a whole new way of approaching it. Um, and uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, so this dice here, this kind of just randomizes it. So, whoa. So, so yeah, you can get a bunch of uh, crazy stuff going on with the randomizer. Um, so the find media online, this is actually kind of cool. Um, keep in mind, this is the beta version. So things are still a little buggy, but Basically, you click find media online and it brings you to like pexels.com or pixels, however the hell you pronounce it. And it's just a whole bunch of um, stock photos that you can search different things. Um, and then you just click your image, use this image and it will come up. Let's get, uh, to get rid of these stupid little gear things, just click on the editor and they will go away. And um, change the font. Is that the freaking Fortnite font? But whatever, let's just move that up more, get rid of the editor. So yeah, I mean, you can get pretty creative with this. You can also add your own video um, just to avoid co any copyright. I'll just add my band. So you can see, you can add any video you want. You can take any video and just add it directly through the browse option. So yeah, that's pretty much the video wizard. Um, so let's move on. Okay, so next up is a plugin they actually added for Patcher that I think is really cool. It's called the VFX Envelope. And basically what it is, it's just an envelope that controls velocity, pitch, pad, mod X, mod Y, things you've probably seen before. But what makes this unique is that right here where it says color, you click it, we see that we get 16 different colors and those 16 different colors are directly correlated to the 16 different colors of the piano roll. So in other words, you can assign different envelopes, LFOs and articulations to each one of these uh, different 
MIDI colors separately. And you also have 16 different states. So I'll explain how to use those in a second. I think the easiest way is just to show you. So let me uh, route this to an instrument. We'll just go with citrus, kind of untangle this a bit here. And let's go in the piano roll. Let's lower this a bit. So we'll go with color one, which is like this pink color. Oh, and by the way, if you right click now, you can change the color of your MIDI. You can kind of customize it, which is cool. That's another new feature. So we'll just make this um, an A. We'll have that for two bars. And color two, which is like this baby blue, we will go with um, a D. And we'll have that playing for two bars as well. So let's go back into VFX envelope. And basically how this works is we at the first state, we're assigned to color one. So let me just delete the decay and sustain things. Um, the envelope is on, we'll have it sync to tempo. We'll lower the tempo just so it's a little easier to hear. And I'm just gonna have something like swell up. So we'll have it for I don't know, a bar or so. Just enough so you can hear what's going on. So now we should hear that this note, this like purple note is kind of swelling up, but nothing should happen to this D note. And remember, they're both coming out of citrus. So it's directly affecting the MIDI and not necessarily the citrus. So that's kind of the whole idea. So we should hear this first note swell up. One more time. Cool. So you heard that swell up. Now this uh, second note, which is um, the baby blue, the second MIDI, we should hear nothing. It should just be the direct, um, just the direct preset. And that's exactly what it is. So the different states. So we can go into state two now. And let's say we want to change the pitch. So we'll click pitch. We'll click uh, the second color. And again, I will delete these because I don't like them. And we'll just have like a pitch drop. So this, um, this pitch drop should only be affected on this note, not the first note. So let's play the whole thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, basically what we're doing is we're affecting the MIDI and not necessarily the actual instrument. So you can get really creative. Um, you can add um, multiple different uh, instruments to, uh, to the VFX envelope and get really crazy. So, you know, you have 16 different uh, states and 16 different colors so you can go really wild with this i really like this um and uh yeah that's the vfx envelope so they added a new library in flex called the general midi library and as you can see it is quite lengthy a lot of different sounds um they're not like the most high-end sounds but they're definitely um Definitely workable. They just have a very, um, as a name implies, very MIDI-ish sound to them. So let me just find a piano. So yeah, I mean, it sounds fine. It's just not like the most high-end sounds, but um, yeah, like I said, they're definitely workable. And also if your MIDI controller allows it, you can now switch between presets using your MIDI controller, whether that be a drum pad or a keyboard. My particular keyboard is very basic. All it has is just the keys and the pitch and modulation uh, wheel. So I don't think I'd be able to uh, do it on mine, although I will look into it. Um, 
and what else i think that's pretty much the main things they also added delay compensation to automation uh, which is cool they added um uh, where is the structure They added some options to the chorus in the structure, wide, mono, and stereo. So that is cool. And they also added some stuff to new time. To be honest, I really do not use this VST. Um, just not a big fan of it, but they added, I think like transient detection or tempo detection. Uh, so if you use that, um, if you use this VST, you might find use in that and i think that's about it i'm probably missing a few things um oh they also claim that fl studio now opens faster like when you um launch it from start it uh it opens faster so yeah um that is 20.7 if you like this video definitely consider subscribing if fl studio is your choice it, your door of choice then um Definitely consider subscribing because I put out a lot of FL Studio content and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.